Sharpening the chain on your MS-170 is quite an easy thing. Very difficult if it's moving around all over the place. Can I uh, uh, encourage you to use a vice or something solid to hold it in? You might say, well, I don't have a vice in the bush. No, you probably don't. We have a couple of other little devices that are they're called stump vices and you can drive those into a piece of timber and use them as a clamp. So grab it securely in the vise, chain break on to stop the chain from turning. In this little kit that, that I've got from my local steel shop, this one's got everything I need to maintain the chain in the same, uh, back to the same uh, condition as the manufacturer. I've got a file guide with the right size file in it, I've got a depth gauge tool and I've got a flat file. With my file guide, I'm going to put it over on top of the chain, holding the file at the right angle and the right shape. Holding the file guide against the chain, just pushing it through. You can hear that, you can feel that. Be careful, that is sharp. Once again, holding it through there. Maybe two or three cuts on each one. One of the new things that we've got is uh, another little device uh, for holding the file guide at the right angle. Although we have the angles that are, that are cut into the guide so you can see it, so with this device here, all you do is you're, you're putting the guide down over the chain and now the file guide is actually locked into that angle. So you can't get it wrong. It's impossible when you're filing. You're always always cutting when you're, when you're pushing away from it. Never, never pull it back to try and sharpen. Always push away. And then you just take it off, off the uh, file at the chain break off when you've done that cutter put him back on the next one, break back on, set the file guide back on there, and away you go. The next thing you've got to do is just check the depth gauges on the chain just to make sure that they're in perfect relationship. You put the depth gauge tool on top of the chain, and of course, in doing that, you can see if the depth gauge is requiring lowering. When you're sharpening it, you're only actually sharpening every second cutter because uh, uh, it's all the cutters on the one side of the saw is what you're going to sharpen at once. And then, of course, you're going to turn it over uh, to, to do the other side. And that will even up the lengths. I'm still doing every second cutter. You can look down from the top and you can see the angles to file to. You just can't get it wrong using the right tools. Last thing you're going to do is check the tension and uh, you're in business. If you